guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige and today I'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth makeup tutorial. I've not done one of these in a very long time and my makeup has definitely changed. I was like, you know what? I am going to give you guys a little tutorial if you want to try it for yourself. This is what works on my face with my features and this is just what I've been loving so far. Um, and the products that I've been loving so far, they always change, but you know. Okay, so first step is always moisturizer. This has been my go-to for the longest time. It's the Drunk Elephant Whipped Cream. Whipped Cream. <laughs> but I've been loving this one. It has a really fun applicator. Love this one. I think that a moisturized base is the most important thing because I hate when my makeup looks cakey. So I always need to have really, really moisturized skin to begin with. Oh my gosh, I have makeup on already. <gasps> Okay, well, I did my makeup a little too natural today, and I <laughs> I didn't know I already had makeup on. I was, like, like rubbing it, and I was like, why does it feel like I'm feeling, like, dead skin? Like, it's my makeup. Okay, here we are. Fresh face. That's better. I'm gonna go back in with the moisturizer. Okay. After moisturizer, while I'm letting this kind of soak in, I like to go with my eyebrows. Because I've learned, my eyebrows are like really, really hard to stay in place. I don't know if you can tell, but they're very, very, um, they're not thick. They just, like, I don't know. They just don't like to stick where they go. I don't know. So I have this random applicator. I think this used to be a Rare Beauty bottle of eyebrow gel, and it was really good. And I loved it because this applicator is like perfect for my eyebrows. It's like tiny, and it literally makes it like, oh, stick in there. And then I use the Anastasia Brow Freeze. If you guys know any other um, thing like this, like eyebrow product like this, let me know because I'm looking for a new one. I like this one. It's just, I just feel like they could be better because even this one doesn't make my eyebrows stay all day. But I basically use the whole pan. So I just grab a little bit of this and then I just brush my eyebrows up. And then brush them like this across. Like that. Super simple, super easy, nothing crazy. Um, I also don't usually fill them in unless I'm feeling like crazy. Or like a more full glam, then I'll fill them in. Like if I'm doing heavy eyeliner, I'll fill, I'll fill them in. I'll fill them in. I feel like when I do heavy eyeliner, that's the only time that it like balances each other out on my face. Or else my eyebrows look too dark or my eyeliner looks too dark. So, okay, they're never perfect. They're always gonna be sisters. They're never gonna be twins. I don't know. I posted a video about how my eyebrows are like not the same, like they're not on the same level. And somebody said it's because my cheekbones are off. And now I'm offended because I used that inverted filter on TikTok once and it actually made me like really depressed. So, I'm just gonna accept the fact that my eyebrows are never gonna be perfect, and that's fine. Next step. Now I like to go in with the say. I think these are like the. There's no de there's no description on it, but I think it's like the glow something. But let me just show you because it's really pretty. It's just like bronzing drops basically, but it makes you look really bronzy. I also love the consistency because you don't have to like mix it with anything. It's like really, really blendable and um, easy to move on your face. Okay, so looking bronzed, looking sparkly and shiny. But I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Ta for face. It looks like this. Okay, this one's a cream, this one's a, um, a bronzer. So I also bought the brush because I'm a sucker for, for things coming the way that they're supposed to be used together. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just gonna go like this and get a lot of this in here. And then I'm gonna carve out my cheekbones like so. And then really just blend it. Look at how pretty that is. Like instantly bronzed, instantly sculpt. So easy and it's so pretty. Not a makeup artist, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about my application, but I love this product. I like to put a little bit on the eyes. 
So recently I have been not a big fan of foundation only because for some reason every time that I do it's been coming out cakey and my skin is not really um like it's looking really good right now so I feel like it doesn't really need foundation so on like a day to day I don't use it. Next, ooh, I'm sorry. Next step is concealer. So I've been using the Ilia concealer for the longest time. Um, I got this sent to me and it's become like my favorite product ever. <clears throat> I've never had a concealer that blends so nicely, and it's just, it's so, so nice. The shade is perfect, everything. So I'm gonna put a little bit underneath the eyes, not too much. And then let's go right here to really sharpen out where I put that contour or whatever, uh, bronzer. All right, like that. Dampen it just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in and blend. I've realized that when I do this technique, I do the bronzer and then I do my concealer. I'm literally putting concealer everywhere that I would put foundation. Like, if I were to have foundation on, I would be putting... Like, okay, so you can see where I put concealer, where I put the bronzer, it covers my face completely. So it's like, if I were to put foundation on, it would just be another layer underneath all of this. And that's where I think it looks cakey because I'm not the best at, like, application or whatever, I don't know why it's ha been happening like that, but that's why I've been doing this technique better, or that's why I've been doing this technique more, because I feel like it allows my skin to not have so many layers of makeup on it where it looks more natural and not cakey. Also, look at my nails. I got them done for Coachella. I'm also gonna be doing a Coachella vlog, so keep an eye out for that, but I'm really excited. I also don't put makeup on my nose. I know that's like really weird. Or my forehead. And I saw someone say that it's noticeable when people don't put makeup on their forehead. But I don't do it because it, it always ends up like peeling. I don't know. It always ends up peeling or it looks bad. So I don't do that. I don't put on my nose either because my nose always ends up getting crusty. No matter how much like lotion I put on it, it always gets crusty. I don't know why. And then if I try to like put makeup on it and then I like like put powder on it, it gets oily. So I'm like confused if it's oily or dry. Like make up your mind, I'm so confused. So I don't put makeup on my nose because also if I get hot, it separates and I hate the way that looks. So I don't put it on my nose. Next, blush. I've been using this one recently. It's like the perfect combination of colors. It's called Man Eater by Tarte and it's the in shade Coral. That, oh, okay. And then I like to go in with a brush. If I'm in a rush, I'll use a beauty blender. It looks just as good with the beauty blender. So when I do use the blush, the brush, I like to use this blush. This is the one that I showed you. This color. I don't know what color this is, what shade it is, but I know it's Rare Beauty. All of my freaking words came off of all of my products for some reason. Literally, I don't, I don't know how that's even possible. Like, I don't know. But I just go in and I blot this into my cheeks. Like, and it's on multiple products, too. It's not just this one. It's like the Hourglass one, like... On so many of my things, the words are gone. I think it might just be because I, touch I touched a lot. But I feel like nobody else has that experience. So I'm not really sure. Once I do powder, it'll like kind of tone it down a little bit. But I think I kind of put a lot on this side. Oh, I do not mean to put that much. And then I'll put some on my nose as well. Like that. Love it. Okay. Next step, powder. This is the Laura Mercier one. I've been using this since the day that I started wearing makeup. Like, literally, this has been my go-to. I've never found a setting powder like this before. I will be using this till, I, till the day I die. So, Laura Mercier, if you're watching this, please send me unlimited powders. I will literally love you forever. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this brush. I like to kind of bake, like, low-key. So, I'll just go like this. With the brush. Like that. See how it's like baking it, but it's like I don't have to use the powder puff and all of that. It's just really, really easy. Okay. And then the rest, I just kind of like, I kind of just put powder everywhere because I do get oily. So, especially around the T zone. Okay. So, this is what it looks like so far. And then I'm going to go in with some more bronzer. So I'm going to go with the bronzer part of this Patrick Ta palette, the fluffy side of the brush. And I'm just going to 
bronze up them cheeks. And then for blush, I like this NARS palette. This is my favorite one recently. It's the NARS Orgasm. And look at how pretty the shades are. Gorgeous. I like to literally mix all of them because they're so freaking pretty. And they have like a little bit of sparkle and shimmer in it, so it's really, really pretty. Okay. I kind of have a lot of blush on right now, but I like, I love the way it looks. I feel like it makes my, my skin look really airbrushed. I'm gonna wipe off this big. And then usually I, I will do eyeliner, but because my eyelashes are really thick and they're really um, full right now, I love them. So I don't think that I need eyeliner. I think that would be a little bit much. So I'm not gonna do eyeliner today. Now I'm gonna go in with my spoolie. Um, I have to admit that my eyelash extensions are the cheat code to making any makeup look, look good. Like literally I can do whatever makeup and it'll look good because my eyelashes are slaying so hard right now. They look so good, so. That's the main reason that my makeup always looks good is because of my eyelashes. I just It's like I always have falsies on. Also, if you guys were wondering what um, style I get and what length and curl and all of that for my eyelashes, um, the last time that I went, I know I'm really bad at, I don't even know. My eyelash techs are really, really good because I'll just be like, can I get all 15 of these descriptions of eyelashes and like mix them together? But I know that these are these have a mix of 11 is the shorter one, and then 12 is the longest length, and then they're a C curl. And then I think I got like kind of cat eye, kind of doll, wispy mix with like a little bit of wet, and then they're 2D and 3D mix. I don't know if that's even English, I don't know. My almost last step. So I use, I've been using this also since the day that I started to do makeup. It's the... Charlotte Tilbury um, highlighter and I've been I'm so lazy because this part gets dirty and I hate to touch it with my fingers because so then my fingers get dirty so I literally just like use the freaking sides of it to get like the residue that's left like because I just hate squeezing it like I love the applicator but I just hate having to get there you know I like to blend it with my fingers because I think that my fingers make it melt into my skin and I've used a lot of different highlighters, and I think that this one is the one that makes my, like, skin just look really naturally glowy. It's not too sparkly, it's not too glittery, so it doesn't look like I have, like, literal glitter on my face. And it's also the perfect shade of, like, not, it doesn't make my skin look, like, when I was younger, my mom used to be like, it looks like you have a dark streak on the side of your cheeks. And I was like, oh, what does that mean? But I realized it was because my, my, um, highlighter was, like, really, it was, like, two, two shades too dark for my skin. I don't know, so my nose look at that perfect glow and then now I'm just gonna put some lip stuff on that is it for my makeup tutorial it's super easy super simple and I feel like anybody can do it I've been doing this since like forever but yeah if you guys have any tips um, that could maybe help me out let me know I love to learn more I love doing my makeup so much I think it's so 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 much fun so thank you for joining me today but yeah I'll see you guys next week and...